Shall I tell you something, Franco? Shall I tell you something? That is not an unpleasant little burgundy, that. That is not a bad little burgundy. This chocolate mousse is gorgeous. Thank you, madame. Thank you, sir. You know, for a place like this, up here, they don't half have a bad little wine list. Listen, why don't you try some? It's ever so light. Go on. Oh, no, darling, I told you I couldn't. Oh, right. Some of us are watching their carbohydrates. But there can't be more carbohydrates in a chocolate mousse than in all the wine you've knocked back. Darling, I do not knock it back. Mm. I'm a connoisseur of wine. I sip it with an appreciative respect for its piquancy. <laughs> what I do not do is knock it back. Fine, darling, fine. But you've still sipped appreciatively half a bottle of white. A shabbly, dry, not a thoroughbred, but for the price, admirable. And a bottle of red. Robust, full brodded blooded. <laughs> Gervais Chambertin. Which, in anybody's language, connoisseurs included, means you've knocked back a bottle and a half of wine. Darling, wine is my hobby. I'm not drinking. I'm learning about it. <laughs> not like some people. Not like Terry Collier. He hasn't got beyond beer yet. His idea of sophistication is a pint of Newcastle Brown with a cherry in it. <laughs> I take it all back. If your interest in wine would take you further away from Terry Collier and the Black Horse, you drink on, Petal. Fill every glass, for wine inspires us and fires us with courage, love and joy. What, Pet? It's a quotation. It's a well-known quotation. Oh. Courage... Love and joy. Wine inspires us and fires us with courage, love and joy. Hmm. Yes, that's quite true in your case. How do you mean? Well, I mean, when we were courting, it needed the wine to give you the courage to ask me if I'd let you make love to me. <laughs> right, very good. Yeah. <laughs> so where does the joy come in? Courage, love and joy? Well, surely the joy was when I said yes. Right, yes. <laughs> But you hardly ever did. <laughs> I mean, as far as I was concerned, there was no joy, no joy whatsoever. Well, that was because after one and a half bottles of robust wine, you were usually incapable. <laughs> wine does not make you incapable. Wine is a gentle stimulant, a good familiar creature. In the words of Shakespeare, what it does not do is get you legless. Yes, dear. Compliments of the Moulin Rouge. We thought you would appreciate it. It's very good. Vintage apart. Speciale. Thank you, Franco. Thank you very much indeed. What about that? Isn't that nice? We'll come here again, I'll tell you that. Look at the colour of that port. Mmm, the bouquet. Mellow, mellow yet positive. Do you know how they taste wine, Thelma? They don't, they don't sip it like you see most people do in the trade. What they do is like this. It's good, yes. Special. Marvellous. <laughs> Cheers, George. Thank you very much, sir. Be careful how you go tonight. Um, been a match. Oh, I know. Friendly. With rangers. There's no such thing as a friendly with rangers. They'll be on the rampage. Ah, uh, hooligans. Good night, George. Bye, Thank you for a lovely night. Thank you for a lovely night. Those special port stains wash out, do you think? Stupid waiter creeping up like that. Well, you didn't know you were gargling. Did I was you? not gargling, darling. I was merely showing. Shh, it it's still a lovely night. Give me the keys. I better drive. No, no, darling. It's all right. Oh, I think I should. No, no, pet. I'm fine. I've only had wine. <laughs> what have I done? I haven't done anything. I haven't done anything at all. I don't know the limit. I never cross my limit. <laughs> Together. You've got nothing to worry about. I've got nothing to worry about. It's just that I've always had this terrible guilt thing about the police ever since me and Terry stole a hose pipe from the <laughs> convalescent home. But that was when you were ten. God, what have I done? I haven't done anything. Good evening, Constable. Uh, officer, what a lovely evening. Quite balmy, really. What's wrong? <laughs> Your rear offside light's not working, sir. Is it not? Will I never? I I'll buy a bulb. Uh, but it's just out of service in all these garages. <laughs> of, of course, um, uh, uh, sitting up forward, one isn't always aware of what's happening at the rear, is one? Uh, one wouldn't have known at all but for your diligence. Is this your car, sir? Yes. Yes, it is. It, it's my car. And, and first thing in the morning, I'll get it fixed. First thing, I will. 
Have you any documents, anything to prove that it is? Yes, your yes, car? yes. It's all here. Yes, yes. There we are. And uh, first thing in the morning, I shall, I shall get it fixed. I shall buy a bulb. I shall buy a bulb. And uh, that garage, I tell you, that yeah. garage is going to get some stick from me. I can tell you that. <laughs> all right, then, Mr. Ferris. You'll see to it. Well, good night, then, sir. What? Oh, yes. Right. It's good night, then. Is it? Right. <laughs> and thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, bon voyage, eh? <laughs> <laughs> It's so unfair. It's victimisation, end of the month, and they're obviously down on the quota. They would never have breathalyzed you if you hadn't acted so strangely. <laughs> you never read that book, The Naked Ape, did you? I lent it to you, but you never read it. Thelma, has this any relevance? Yes. It's all about behaviour patterns. Man is an animal, and just like an animal, he wants to protect his own territory. Now, tonight, by sitting in the car and letting that policeman come to you, you were being aggressive. You were guarding your own territory. You should have got out and met him halfway. Psychologically, that would be a friendly gesture. Yes, Thelma, I'm sure that is very good advice for a gorilla being breathalyzed. <laughs> Uh, we're waiting for a doctor. Next stage is the doctor, you see. Is it? Your breathalyzer only determines the amount of alcohol on the breath, you see. The actual offence is conditional upon alcohol in the bloodstream. See? In the bloodstream. <laughs> the doctor will determine that by taking a blood sample. Or, if your husband prefers, a urine sample. Bob, pay attention to what the sergeant's saying. Mm. <laughs> blood or urine sample? Just a cup of tea, please. <laughs> what? Well, I shall just leave this here for the time being. But as I say, you can elect to give blood. Blood? I'm not giving blood. It is only a pinprick, sir. I don't care. I'm not even giving a pinprick full. Look, the sooner you do, Pet, the sooner your innocence will be proved. My husband Selma. hasn't been drinking, you know, Sergeant. Well, Mum, the breathalyzer went no, away. I don't give a fig about that silly plastic bag. I was with him the whole night, and I'm yes. telling you, he has not been drinking. Well, not in the drinking sense. Not in the drinking sense. No, you no. see, he's only had wine, and wine doesn't affect him. Yes, well, it's all right, Pet. No, Just, my um... husband's told me wine is a gentle stimulant. Uh, a good, familiar creature, as Shakespeare said, didn't he, darling? Yes, well, I'm, I'm, he I'm sure the sergeant... He didn't touch spirits, except for the teeniest vodka and sugar-free tonic. He's just stuck to his bottle and a half of wine. <laughs> if what you say is true, Mum, I am surprised the breathalyzer turned green. Thank you. You see, Bob? I'm surprised it didn't turn claret. <laughs> We didn't touch the clarets. We just stuck to a rather robust Gervais Chambertin. I should have taken a statement. <laughs> but only had it in writing. Oh. What's all that? Oh, it's football rowdies. They say every cell's full. Well, you go on home, Pet. I, I don't want you here with all that going on. They'll let you take the car. Oh, are you sure? Yes, yes, yes. You hardly drank anything. No, no, no. I mean, are you sure you don't want me to wait? No, no. You've done enough damage. I beg your pardon. I've done what? Apart from a teeny weeniest vodka, my husband stuck to his bottle and a half of wine. And a barrel of brandy on the bypass and a keg of rum in a lay-by. <laughs> well, anybody who acts as stupid as you getting in the back seat. I offer to drive you, but no, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. Just go on home, Thelma. Well, I'll leave the downstairs light on.
I've been breathalyzed. You haven't. <laughs> I have. Seriously? Yes, of course, seriously. What do you think I'm doing here? Voluntary bloody social work? <laughs> well, I, I thought I saw Thelma out there, but I thought, no, no, what could she possibly be doing here? But I thought it was her. I would have said hello, only I was trying to protect me vitals from a size 12 boot. <laughs> was that you creating all that row out there? I was just defending me rights. Well, what are you doing here? Wrongful arrest, that's what. What happened? We were just coming back from the football match, minding our own business, like not looking for trouble. That was the last thing on our minds. Just minding our own business. And we turned into Clayton Street and we bang in the middle of this bunch of Glaswegians, all waving empty sherry bottles and bitter and twisted on defeat and red biddy. Well, there's nothing mellow about your legless jock, is there? And if there's one thing he's not going to do, it's shake your hand and whistle a chorus of old Lang Syne, is he? What did they do? We didn't give him a chance to do anything. We were on them before we could say, up your kin. <laughs> Oh, charming. It was self-defence, Bob. We weren't looking for trouble. No, no. But if I have learned anything in life about your average Scot, it's full of the golden rule. And what is that? Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Only do it first. <laughs> <laughs> My God. I don't know. What? Oh, I don't know. Just nothing. Just, just thinking. You're thinking what? How far you and I have drifted apart on the social scene. I mean, all right, all right. We're, we're both here. Right. But I'm in here because of my keen interest on the finer points of wine. You're here because you've committed grievous bodily harm on some Scotsman's groin. <laughs> Both criminals in the eye of the law, Robert. Just because you're middle class now, you know, doesn't put you above the law. It's so unfair. All I'm doing is having a nice, social, civilised evening out with the wife. I'm only here on the strength of a wonky offside rear. And the breathalyzer. You'd think the police would have better things to do, wouldn't you? Why aren't they out in the streets arresting burglars and rapists and muggers? Why aren't they out hauling in football hooligans on the rampage in our city? They are, that's why I'm here. <laughs> yes, and why do I have to share my anteroom with one of them? Fancy that, then. Fancy putting in violent offenders with innocent motorists like me. What are you in here with me for? I am here because there is an obvious doubt about my alleged guilt. It's an obvious case of wrongful arrest, mistaken identity. Besides, all the cells are full up. <laughs> you caught trouble, you do. You'll end up in jail, you will. Well, I have, haven't I? And it was the first person I bump into, Ferris. <laughs> and get chucked out of the badminton club when this league's out, you know. And wait till Thelma's sewing circle hears about it. It's not funny, you know. If I'm positive, I'll lose my licence for a year. I'll lose my licence, automatic. So unfair. And it took you years to get it and all, didn't it? <laughs> Pardon? No, but it did, I mean, didn't it? I mean, it did. It was the hill starts you kept cocking up, wasn't it? <laughs> and the emergency stop. I was too good at that. One time the examiner hit his head on the windscreen. <laughs> Bang, like that. How could you expect him to judge me fairly, suffering from concussion? <laughs> years to get it and... A moment's indiscretion. Did you have too much to drink? Just wine. Well, you say just wine, but I mean, that could mean just a bottle and a half. Did you talk to Thelma out there? <laughs> I never told you, no. What's up? Nothing. It's so unfair. We won. Pardon? The match, we won. Really? Yeah, good game and all. Best I've seen for ages. Four bookings, you should have been there. <laughs> Too rotten right I should, then I wouldn't be here, would I? Then all I'd have to suffer would be a fine. Certainly not a year's suspension. It's so unfair. <laughs> you're, uh, you're waiting for the doctor, are you? Isn't that what happens, you have to see a doctor? Apparently. Takes blood, doesn't he? Or that. You haven't. Well, you wouldn't be playing around with it if I had. <laughs> true, true. Why haven't you? I can't. Well, you can't have had all that much to drink then, can you? Oh, that'll stand up in court, that will. That's a perfect bloody defence, that is. <laughs> Your Honour, my client must be so because he can't manage a pee. <laughs> Don't get all shirty with me. Don't get all shirty with me. I'm only trying to help you, aren't I? I mean, the longer you can't go, the better it is, surely. I mean, it must give you more chance to get sober. I mean, the longer it takes the old doctor to get here, the better, surely. Yes, yes. 
The longer it takes, yes. And even if you do want to go, don't. Keep on saying you can't. They can't prove anything. You just sit there, defiantly, with your legs crossed. <laughs> defiantly, yes. Can't prove anything. On the other hand... What? Well, you see, it all depends on your metabolism. What does? Well, with some people, the alcohol reaches the bloodstream quicker than others. I mean, it can be to your advantage to have the doctor get here late. On the other hand, if you do have a certain type of metabolism, the quicker the better. Well, what sort am I? Well, that's the point. We don't know, do we? That is typical of you, that is. You build me up and then... Oh, rats. Bob, Bob, I am a pedestrian. One of the footsore masses of this world who keep our streets safe. But if I was a driver, I would make very, very sure that I knew all the answers to drinking and driving. Now, don't look at me like that. If you drink, don't drive. If you do, then drink moderately. If you can't, then wait. Have a lot of coffee, very sweet, or better still, a jar of honey. And then, if you must, but only if you must, drive home, but drive carefully. Then at least you're behaving. And I think that that is important more than ever these days. At least you're behaving like a dutiful, responsible, law-abiding citizen. And if I do all those things and I still get done? And you bribe the bloody policeman. <laughs> Dear me. Look, man, you should have had the money already inside your licence. What? So, so when he asked for it... Oh, I see, sir. Well, be a bit more careful next time, sir. Good night, sir. Good night, madam. Pleasant journey. There you are. This is not America, you know. I've never heard of anything so outrageous. You what? You think the law's above a bit of bribery and corruption? Dear me, you're so naive, you are. They live on bribes, the police. The American police, they live on bribes. It makes you appreciate what a good job our boys in blue are doing up. Hello, Sergeant. Are you trying to take the... No, 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 that's what you're here for. <laughs> now, just be careful, lad. Just you be very careful. I can't. I can't, I'm trying. <laughs> Doctor's on his way. You can just see me trying to bribe that one. You've always been terrified of the law, you have. Ever since we nicked that hose pipe from that convalescent home. <laughs> well, the doctor's on his way. That's it, then. Not necessarily. It all depends on your metabolism. No, no. Whatever kind of metabolism you've got out for this situation, I'll have the other sort. Oh, dear me. All I'm doing is having a nice, civilised evening out with the wife. <laughs> what, uh, apart from everything else, what was the meal like? Very good. Very good indeed. And you only drank wine, did you? Yes, yes. We had a bottle of uh, white, Chablis, dry, admirable, and a bottle of Gervais Chambertin, uh, 1969. All right. Yes, yes, very good. Not no. unimpressive at all. Not unimpressive. Good, good, good. Not up to your 67, of course. No, quite, quite, quite. And it was just you and Thelma, like me? Yeah, yes. So you must have shot through a bottle and a half, at least. If you put it that way, yes. And that was all? Well, I had an aperitif. One does, doesn't one? Oh, aye, aye, one does. <laughs> small vodka, ever so small. Tiny vodka. Oh, and I did have a port. Oh, you had a port and all, did you? <laughs> yes, excellent. Vintage. Well, they sent it across. Compliments of the house. I could tell, you see. Tell what? That I would appreciate it, because I was a... Well, a... An alcoholic. <laughs> A connoisseur. A drunk in anybody's language. Dear me, you'd have had to give the police your car to bribe you out yes, of well, this. Well, the car's going to be no good to me now, is it? Now that I've rotten had it, a year's suspension, automatic. Oh, God, I've always had a clean license and all. No claims bonus, that sort of thing. Well, a few trivial minor offences. Parking on a double yellow line outside the dry cleaners. And uh, speeding in a safari park. <laughs> What? You scared of the lions, were you? I was trying to shake off a baboon. <laughs> he was on the boot trying to pull off the GB plate. <laughs> Scratching all the metal work. That must have sounded incredible in court. <laughs> yes, well, there'll be no more safari park outings now, will there? Or picnics, or trips to the Lake District, or the Cheviots. How am I going to get to work? Thelma will have to drop me off now, but she finishes before me. 
That means I'll have to catch, catch the bus home and then walk all the way from Western Way in the middle of winter. And that wind goes right through you. And, and then Sunday mornings I won't be able to go for a drink up the coast. Not unless Malcolm Brown picks me up and he can't bring me back. Because he always has lunch with his in-laws. Oh, God. My whole social life as I know it is finished. It's over. As such. But pull yourself together, man. It's not as bad as all that, honestly. It is possible to be a pedestrian and still get something out of life. Like what? Well, like exercise. I get plenty of exercise at the badminton club. Oh, God, I won't be able to do that now. <laughs> not without a car. It really does mean that much to you, doesn't it? Yes. When I got my first car, it was one of the happiest days of my life. Nothing's ever topped that feeling, that elation. Uh, marrying Thelma came close to it, of course. <laughs> well, I'll take that. What? You won't lose your license, Bob. Drive on, baby, drive on. What, what are you doing? What are you on about? They want a sample, don't they? Well, they're going to get one. But they don't have to know whose. You yeah, can't! Shut man. up, God, 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 now, God, keep on! Keep on! Keep on! Keep You can't! It's a perfect way out, man! But it, There's really... nothing wrong with Collier 74. <laughs> <laughs> Not as good as a 67, mind. <laughs> but it's an illegal act in the middle of a bloody police station. Crafty. <laughs> but it, it's a miscarriage of justice. You'll have a miscarriage if you don't get a grip of yourself. <laughs> well, hurry up, then. Hurry. What's wrong? I can't go. <laughs> but you've got me into such a state, I can't invite, I've got to. <laughs> Where is he? Oh. I'm off duty now. Tell him the doc will be here in a jiffy. Yeah. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry, kiddo. It's all right. It was a good idea. It was a good idea. It would have worked and all. I know, I know. It's a good idea. You forgot that. Oh, I don't believe it. I'll have to give blood now. It can work. You said so yourself. Yes, but... Now, look, kid, it's your licence. Yes, but... It I... can work. You said so yourself. Uh, yeah. I'm Dr Mackay. Who's, uh, Ferris, is that the name? Uh, yes, that's right, Dr. Uh, Ferris. Ferris with two R's. You'll uh, you'll be wanting some blood then, will you? That's right, just roll up your sleeve. That's the thing. Uh -huh. And uh, where did where did the nav you, eh? <laughs> <laughs> on the bypass. Uh, wasn't that what you said, Mr. Ferris? Ah, yes, on the bypass. Uh -huh. Oh, you seem quite compassmentous to me. Is that good or bad? No. I'll make up two samples, one of which you retain. And, uh, if you like, you can obtain your own private analysis. OK. Well, thank you, Doctor. Right. Collier. <laughs> well, Collier? <laughs> yes. Uh, me, Sergeant. Me. Oh, well, then. We've got a cell for you now. <laughs> <laughs> what do you expect, Bill? You'll be charged it morning. Disorderly conduct. Come on, lad. Move, laddie! <laughs> Mark said move! Go have Phil as there, eh, pal? No, no, no. <laughs> Mate, next time I'll have you. Bloody <laughs> sure. Well, there, Jeff. Stop. What happened? I was fined. You were fined. Ten quid. Just a fine, not bound over or anything. No, no, just a fine. And the humiliation and the sweat and fear of discovery. Did you see Thelma? Of course, I went straight round last night, only I told her not to come round here this morning, being as how you were supposed to be me. She knows. She's an accessory. How did she take it? Well, she took it. Yes, but how? Well, she sort of reacted. 
But how? Well, with sort of hysterics. God help us. I've gone grey overnight. <laughs> I have. I've gone grey overnight. Cheers. Cheers. Look at that. Clear as a crystal, perfect temperature. It's always good here. He knows how to keep his beard as Jack. It's a good drop. Good drop? It's the best in the district. All this wine drinking's ruining your palate. Yes, well, in future, I shall confine my wine drinking to the house, and if I go out, I shall take taxis. I've learned my lesson. No more drinking and driving. Ah, well, all's well that ends well. Cheers. Cheers. This is not a celebration, you know, Terry. Not a celebration to crime. Well, yes, but we are celebrating, aren't we? You know, it took me most of the night to get settled in my mind about this. I did think of confessing. But then I realised that, well, I hadn't really done anything. And I would have got off anyway. Because I remembered. I have got long-distance metabolism. Oh, I'm so glad you're settled in your mind, Bob. I did have one nasty moment this morning, though. What? When I went to play the fine with a cheque. So what? I nearly paid them with a cheque, man. That would have looked good, wouldn't it? Somebody called Terry Collier paying with a cheque book marked R. Ferris. <laughs> I could have been done for passing dud cheques. <laughs> or you could. Just lucky I had ten quid on me. Which you owe me, by the way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. God knows it's little enough after all I've done for you. I have saved your entire social life as you know it. All right, all right. I'm not ungrateful. I'm not ungrateful. Hey. What? Oh, come on. Admit it. Admit what? Well, who else would have got away with it, eh? I've told you that's not the way to look at it. There is nothing to gloat about. We did, though, didn't we? Yes, we bloody did. Right under that nose, <laughs> We eh? put one over them. <laughs> and who says crime doesn't pay? At this moment, in some secret laboratory, they're going over your blood. Probably send it back <laughs> with a note saying, this horse is unfit for work. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what? let's have a short celebration. Good lad. Jack, yep. Brandy's doubles. Brandy, <laughs> the hair of the dog, eh? <laughs> <laughs> That's it, aye. What did he mean, a hair of the dog? Well, I was in last night, wasn't I? You were drinking last night? <laughs> I was in, yes. yes. but enough to need a hair of the dog. And that's just an expression, An huh? expression used when somebody has got a hangover, oh, no, no. which is something you get if you drink too much. Now, pull yourself together, man. I was only drinking beer. That's not drinking, not in the drinking sense. Only beer? Your average nightly consumption's a gallon. <laughs> you idiot. You rotten idiot. You've really dropped me in it this time, haven't you? You inconsiderate, thoughtless idiot. Don't you talk to me like that. I shed my blood for you. <laughs> yes, but what bloody blood? I was only marginal. This isn't even red. It's dark brown. My God, it's even got a head on it. 